Hello Aries, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be your general reading. So this will be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This will be a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Aries watching. So make sure to check your other placements for more messages. Sometimes those can resonate more. As always, I'm going to choose a few oracle cards and then I'll clarify with the tarot. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aries? Messages for Aries, please. What messages do you have for Aries, please? Time is fluid, so whatever situation I talk about today, it could be happening now, in the recent past, or the near future. Okay, hold on. I don't want it to come out. Commitment. Okay. Starting off with commitment. Anything else for Aries? Movement. All right. So now um, energy could be vice versa. So, oh my gosh. Roles can be reversed. So I could be talking about you, Aries, or another person who is interested in you. So take... Um, Kind of flip the rules how they resonate okay this is way too many any messages for aries please i'm gonna take that one angel of balance okay so what i'm seeing here is movement and i'm thinking right away eight of wands so i'm thinking uh movement like cupid's arrow communication back and forth that kind of movement so I definitely see movement and commitment here. I'm thinking a progression of some sort of connection. An angel of balance. So this is very, uh, it's very similar to the energy of temperance. So um, equal give and take here, balance, patience, healing. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aries? Messages for Aries, please. What messages do you have for Aries, please? Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, commented, or subscribed recently. I really appreciate all of your comments. I can't respond to all of them, but I read them all. So thank you so much for liking, subscribing, and sharing your stories. I really appreciate it. Spirit, what do we have for Aries? I'm going to be pulling eight cards today, so let's see how that goes. Now, these are meant to be general monthly readings, but honestly, they've been turning out to be mostly relationships. So we'll see what Spirit has to say today. Okay, so I have OMG, there's the Eight of Wands. Remember I talked about the Eight of Wands when I saw um, movement? So I have Strength, the Emperor, Five of Pentacles, and Eight of Wands. So. You could be dealing with a Leo. Here you are, Aries, with Emperor. But more than anything, I'm getting someone wanting to be let back in. That's what I'm getting. I feel like there was someone shutting someone else out here with the Five of Pentacles. Um, someone struggling, maybe financially someone kind of doing things on their own with the five of pentacles and then i see this communication happening back and forth almost like let me back in <laughs> what else do you have for aries what other messages do you have for aries i want that one. Oh, and oh look what came out temperance are you kidding me so yeah I was thinking of temperance with angel of balance, and I think this is confirmation for me. Um, sign of Sagittarius, but again, I'm getting um, patience, balance here. Almost like some of you were waiting, patiently waiting is what I got, for something to happen. I think it's going to happen or start off with this communication here. I feel like this communication is going to get the ball rolling. Let me move these up. Whatever it is, is leading to a commitment of some sort, because that's the first card I see here. What else for Aries spirit? Thank you. Have the world. Awesome. We got four major arcanas already. 
and we got seven of wands. Definitely some of you shut this person out. I have seven of wands and the five of pentacles or vice versa. Either you blocked each other or someone blocked the other or someone was just not open to talking, not open to fixing things. For a lot of you, I feel like you were protecting yourself here, almost putting yourself in this energy of being out in the cold. Um, I wonder why, I can't wait to clarify and see. What else for Aries, please? What other messages do you have for Aries? Thank you. Six of Cups. Interesting. Communication from the past, possibly. Or some sort of past life connection with the world here um, under you, Aries, the Emperor. I feel like there's something that's been either coming around full circle for some of you so that you can begin something new. And for others of you, I'm getting um unfinished business possibly with this past life connection i'm going to clarify and see let's just get this moving i was going to use a different deck but i don't feel like i want to do that so i'm just going to go with it tell me about strength nice strength here for aries tell me about strength please Queen of Pentacles. All right. So right away, someone is finding the inner strength, the courage to make an offer to someone. That's what I'm getting here. I mean, there's something here. Some of you could be married and this is there's movement or change in your relationship, existing relationship, more balance. Maybe others of you, this person you're interested in is married or in a long-term commitment. Maybe they want to get out of that relationship. Tell me more about Queen of Pentacles. Why the Queen of Pentacles? Guys, I'm so sorry. That's my dogs in the background running around playing. Spirit, why is it? Thank you. Oh, MG. The Tower and the Queen, the King of Cups, sorry. The Tower and the King of Cups. I feel like for some of you, you're not going to expect communication from this person or you're not going to expect or see what they have to say. It's almost like, like, um, like what they say is shocking because it has to do with their feelings. Is what I'm getting. Um, some of you are dealing with a water sign here. Hmm. Okay, so this could be taken two ways here with the Tower, Queen of Pentacles, and King of Cups. So either there is a breakup of an existing marriage or long-term commitment that has opened the door for movement here, or this, this person is trying to summon the courage or be strong um, either during this hard moment or to make an offer here. Because I feel like you're, you're not going to expect this communication from them with the tower. Knight of Pentacles under the deck. So they definitely want to make an offer of some sort here. Tell me about the Emperor. This could be you, Aries, or this could be the other person. Someone in a maybe a leadership role or a boss of some sort or just very strong masculine energy here with the Emperor. He usually gets what he wants. <laughs> Tell me about the Emperor. He's also powerful or very uh, confident. Thank you. King of Wands came out to clarify the Emperor here. Passion attractions. I'm getting strong attraction here. What else about this Emperor and King of Wands? For Aries. Tell me more about this Emperor. Ha! Huh. Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> Okay, so someone's making an offer here based on some strong attraction. The emperor, right? He's like the daddy of the deck. <laughs> um, but it doesn't have to be male or, I mean, or it doesn't have to be a male per se. It could also be a female here. 
But what I'm getting is a strong attraction, strong chemistry, strong enough to want to make an offer, to move forward, right? Ace of Pentacles, it goes great with this commitment card here. That's exactly what the Ace is all about. I have the Fool under the deck, so this could be new, a new journey, a new person, or a new phase in your relationship is what I'm getting here with the Fool. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles for Aries. Thank you. Six of Pentacles. So definitely, um, I'm getting here with the Six of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. Someone wants to make something right. Almost like there was no communication. There was, you know, someone did someone else wrong or something like that. And they were left out in the cold or struggling. And it's like this person wants to make things right. This person could literally want to help you financially because the Six of Pentacles is the card of generosity, charity, and giving. Um, it could also be that they want to balance this out. Let's see. What else you have to, for the Six of Pentacles there? There's a Six of Pentacles here. Oh, I, I was going to flip it over. Oh, wow. Ten of Cups. Yeah, this person wants to repair this or, or bring you out of the cold is what I'm getting here. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. What's this, what's this communication back and forth? Thank you. The Magician. Okay. Some of you have manifested this communication, this message. Tell me more about the Magician for Aries. Thank you. Yeah, wow. Ten of Swords, Five of Wands. Someone wants to put an end to the drama, an end to the conflict, an end to the arguing. They want to clear things up is what I'm getting. They want to clear the air. They want to, end, they want to put an end to this cycle of confusion and competition and, 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 and drama is what I'm getting. Someone's manifesting this communication though. It's at the bottom of the deck. High Priestess, interesting. Almost like this person has not communicated this until now. Like it's like something has happened to wake them up or something. I wouldn't be surprised if judgment came out in this reading. I've been getting judgment with the world for a few um, people. So let's, let's see what temperance is all about. Tell me about temperance. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but more than anything, I'm thinking balance here with the angel of balance, um, healing, patience. Okay. The moon and five of cups, this person, whoever this person is, they're waiting because they don't know. If you're going to accept for others of you this person feels very guilty feels remorse regret sadness and it's i i'm really getting the feeling that they they've been trying to heal the moon is here so there's secret a secret doubt secrets or doubt i'm getting some some someone has not made an offer because they doubt themselves they doubt that you're going to accept but this person is focused on what hasn't worked out here um, but I really got regret guilt um, someone feels bad for what has happened is, is what I'm seeing there oh my god <laughs> are you guys ready for what's at the bottom of the deck judgment <laughs> This person has had some sort of spiritual awakening or realization, or it's, it's almost like they want a second chance. And who was it that got this reading? I think it was Scorpio that I just did, where someone also wanted to make things right. They wanted a second chance. Yeah, and they're, they're in their head about it with Eight of Swords. Like this person is not, they want a second chance, but they haven't approached, but I feel it has to do with this tower moment and this Ten of Swords. Tell me about the world. Queen of Swords. Okay, anything else for the world, please, for Aries? Thank you. No, geez. Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands, another Ten. I have three Tens here. Ten of Cups, Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands. 
and the world. There's a cycle ending. There's, there's something is coming to a close. I feel it has to do with this tower. I feel like this tower is going to create movement. Queen of Swords, Ten of Wands, Eight of Wands. I feel like whoever this is, if this is resonating with you, you and this person have not had it easy. I feel like, yeah, I feel like because of all of this baggage and conflict, I feel like it has hardened someone. For some of you, you're cutting this out, this energy, this, this feeling of bur feeling burdened, feeling weighed down, feeling tired and exhausted. I feel like you want to put an end to this with, I mean, you have 10 of swords here with the five of wands as well. Someone wants to put an end to the drama, to the constant fighting or arguing, the not seeing eye to eye. And that could mean that some of you are not open to this person anymore. And for others of you, that can mean that you are going to allow for there to be a new cycle for you here. Just as the bottom of the deck, some of you could be just wanting, you know, with Queen of Swords and Justice, I'm getting the, these two people don't play Queen of Swords and Justice. You, they're both holding a sword that they're not afraid to use. But justice is all about making things right, balanced, again with the balance. A final decision of some sort. Tell me about the seven of wands, please. What is the seven of wands? Oh my God, that went flying. Okay. The sun and the three of pentacles. Some of you are going to be open to working on something with, with this person, to building something with the sun. I feel like this person is going to make you so happy. Um, maybe they're going to fight for you. Maybe they're going to fight for this connection and it's going to kind of like surprise you almost and you're going to be willing to work on something. For others of you, I feel like Why am I getting third party situation? I usually don't get that with three of pentacles, but here with three of pentacles and seven of swords or wands, not seven of swords. Why am I thinking seven of swords? What is going on? Something's off here, I feel. Let me know in the comments what I'm missing in this, in this situation. I feel like these are very opposing energies. Seven of Wands, the sun. This is the energy of back off, right? Stand my ground, defend myself, defend what I hold dear. Fight for what's mine kind of energy. And then I have the sun and three of pentacles. Three of pentacles is all about working together, building, collaborating, work, um, Interesting. So what I'm getting, I'm going to just say it. I'm getting some of you are waiting for this person to get out of this third party situation. Almost like I'm not going to even, I'm not going to um, entertain this, right? Um, others of you, I feel very strongly that this person, either you or them, has had to defend this connection to a group of people here. And you're doing that because this person makes you happy. So you're willing to do that is what I'm getting here. Others of you are going to be happy that this person is going to almost like break down your walls and want to actually commit. You know, it makes you happy that they want to actually build something with you. Yeah, four of pentacles are on the deck. Almost like this person is going to like help you let go of all of this baggage. Yeah, I have the star right under that. Faith, hope, 
hope in this con I feel like that's going to give you hope in this connection the fact that this person is so serious this time or if this is someone new because I did have the fool um, come up um, it's almost like this is what you've been wanting you know you want your ten of cups with someone serious someone that actually wants to move things forward tell me about the six of cups for some of you this is a past connection or just a soulmate type of connection. Some of you have children with this person as well. Tell me about this Six of Cups. Okay, that's a lot of cards, but I'm just gonna take it. I have the Hermit here, sign of Virgo, more healing. Four of Cups, someone was disinterested in this offer or will be disinterested in this offer. Um, and then I have seven of pentacles and eight of pentacles. So definitely someone has put in the work here in some way. They've either, they've either worked on themselves. They've either, okay, so I'm getting someone that's been working on themselves. Someone that's been working on waiting. It's almost like they've been working on how to approach you. Um, because I feel like this person knows or thinks you're not going to accept this connection. You're not going to be interested in this connection. With the Hermit, I feel like this person has really been kind of withdrawn alone here to do this planning, strategizing, working of some sort. Could be a Virgo that you're dealing with. Um, but this is someone that has really taken the time to think and reflect. Um... They're wondering if this is going to pan out for them, this offer, if you're going to accept. That's what I'm getting. Um, will you, Aries? <laughs> Tell me down in the comments if you would accept this person. See what's at the bottom of the deck. Two of Swords. Some of you are not going to know. You're not going to know whether to accept or not. And there it is. There's the offer. Knight of Cups. Yeah, some of you definitely are not going to know whether to say yes or no. But this person definitely wants to move forward and they want to commit, whoever this is. So I'm going to leave it there, Aries. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much again for subscribing, liking, and commenting. And I'll see you in the next video.